I don't think you should listen to all the trash that happens on social media <laughs> In recent times, in the last probably six to twelve months, some things that have been said by certain political leaders is unacceptable. There are some people who are trying to say the nation is going down the drain all the time. You can attack him, just that idea that you can attack him, disturbing the foundation stones of India's nationhood. Unfortunately, a few people have started a debate in the nation whether you should even stand up for your national anthem or not, okay? That is not because of any patriotism or lack of it. It is just that they have… in one hand, they have a pop popcorn and in another hand, they have Coca-Cola. They're not able to stand up. I'm saying, the populations have become frivolous because they have not faced any adversity. They have not faced adversity because there are brave men standing on the borders. Especially we as a nation should never forget this because we have faced series of invasions for almost thousand years now. And what horrible things have happened to our populations. Unfortunately, neither is it well written in our history books nor is it depicted in our movies. A nation is built in many different ways, but the most important place where the nation has to be built is in the minds and hearts of people, which unfortunately we have not done. Even today, people are identified with their caste, with their religion, with their ethnicity, with this and that. The nation is just an overarching uh, identity. Slowly, in the younger generation, it's much better. But if you see the older generation, the… in the rural India, they don't have a strong sense of nationhood. This needs to happen at an early age that there is a sense of pride, that we as a nation, there is a sense of pride. Otherwise, who will live for this country, who will fight for this country, who is willing to die for this country without investing emotions? I was asked by a news anchor, what is all this standing up for when you go to a cinema, we have to stand up, why is all this emotional thing needed? Then I asked him a simple question, do you have a family? He said, yes. I said, without investing your emotions, do you believe you can build and maintain your family? He said, no. Try and see, try with your wife very agnostically, just feed her, take care of her, no emotion involved. Let me see how long it'll last. So even to build a little family of four people, you need to invest all your emotion. To build a nation, if there is no emotion, how do you build a nation? How is it even possible? Nation is just in our emotion. It is not existing somewhere else. It is only in how we feel about it. So this work we have not done substantially in the country, which we need to do. Now, I've been asking uh, the general for a video of the army. We've already been doing this, we've been talking to our students. Like this, we, uh, we have adopted uh, over uh, 4,500 schools, government schools. We will be playing the army videos and things from now on. Indian Army is an apolitical and a secular organization. For years, uh, they have been non-partisan, adhering to the constitution and staying clear of the political ideologies the party in power. In the current day environment of social media and excessive information overload, must the army need to take steps to guard its own core values? I don't think you should listen to all the trash that happens on social media <laughs> because on social media, anonymous commentary, so anybody can say anything. Why about you? Even about me <laughs> Anything that a man can do and cannot do, people accuse you of. You don't even know who they are, but they are giving a commentary on your life. They're telling you things about your life that you yourself do not know <laughs> So, I think we have to mature with social media. We should learn what to ignore and what should be given value to because uh, it's an anom anonymous media. Every fool who has no consequence of any kind in a society is now able to write commentary on just everybody, including the forces. So I don't even think you should uh, 
pay attention to social media. But uh, among the political parties who have a certain amount of power to wield, I think the right context has to be set with the forces because in recent times, in the last probably six to twelve months, some things that have been said by certain political leaders is unacceptable. I have even spoken to people that uh, there must be a law against this. Like, uh, things have been said which are simply unacceptable, I don't want to take individual comments. But uh, what I would like to say is, we must understand India is going through a flux in the sense, politically a flux. Economically, we are on the right footing, the entire world is saying we are on the right footing, but there are some people who are trying to say the nation is going down the drain all the time, they want to give a negative commentary, and that's what you're saying. I don't think you should pay attention to those commentaries. Quite a few of them won't survive the next five, ten years' time. The new generation, wants commitment for development, new generation wants nation to fulfill their aspirations. So those who are not committed to those values will not survive in the country. We're definitely moving there, but right now we are in a flux and you have a bunch of people fighting for survival. So you will hear very wrong language and very dirty below-the-belt tactics. Uh, we'll have to endure that for some time. <laughs> Unfortunately, when forces are in action, somebody's stoning them. This is absolutely unacceptable. Once we make this acceptable, we are pulling the fundamental strings of nationhood. We are taking away the fundamentals of nationhood in a way. I don't know whether all the people understand this or not. The basics, the foundation stones of this nation we are disturbing when we… when somebody is fighting for the nation, you can attack him. In whichever way, whether you attack him with a stone or a pin or a bullet, it doesn't matter. You can attack him. Just that idea that you can attack him is disturbing the foundation stones of India's nationhood. This must stop absolutely. There are no two ways about it in my mind.